Today we're at Royal Thai Army Golf Club in Bangkok, Thailand. We're playing the East Course, all 18 holes today. We're starting on hole 14 because it's so busy. The aim of the round is to break 100 because I ended up playing off the back tees. And the opening shot's a good one, in play down the left. Oh my God. So just a 9-9 into the green, it's hit right on line, Over. goes a little bit long. We have a delicate chip back to the hole. Oh my God. <laughs> and the chip goes in, we make the chip in birdie on the opening hole. Didn't hold the chip for all of 2022 on camera, but made one straight away. We missed the high five with the caddy, but who cares? It's a perfect start to the round. Hole two is a long par three with a water carry. I'm off the back tees for the rest of the round now. And goal to finish your game, the tee shot goes into the drink. One shot penalty and we take a drop. So we pitch one on and have an eight footer to salvage a bogey. It just slides by to the right. And then we get a brutal lip out for the double. And we caught a, caught a very disappointing triple bogey on the 15th hole, back down to air. And uh, yeah, just a lovely morning in Bangkok on this day. Nice, nice course, nice weather. Hole 16 is a straightforward par 4. And we're in play with a tee shot, it finds the fairway. So going for the green here with the hybrid, 26 degree. And we catch a piece on the right side of the green. So it's a 28 footer for birdie. It just slides by to the right, really good pace on that one. And we tap in and the first part of the day goes on the scorecard, solid golf. And hole 17 is 576 yard par five. There's no way I should be playing par fives this long. That's why I'm saying break 100. And the tee shot slipped slightly to the right. And it went in the drink. So we took a drop, one shot penalty. And this hybrid shot, <laughs> this next one goes in the drink. There's so much water on these courses in Thailand that I play. So yeah, just you, you have to keep it straight. Otherwise you, you're losing multiple balls in a round. So we missed our approach shot short right, and then pitch one on, have a 10 footer for a double bogey. And the putt drops, really happy with that. We caught a double which could have been much worse. Everyone loves a one putt. <laughs> Hole 18 to par 4, dog leg to the left, and we lose the tee shot out to the right. And it goes in some water. That's my miss today. <laughs> so we took a drop, not for the first time today. <laughs> rough is not and easy. the rough is just horrendous. <laughs> I don't know why I dropped it in the rough actually. I should have dropped it on the fairway there. But there was a thunderstorm the night before this round, so some of the course is playing really heavy. <laughs> so that's what another reason I'm playing break a hundred, because it was a heavy playing course, hardly any rollout. And uh, the approach shot. One good thing about the thunderstorm is this bunker was covered in water. <laughs> and uh, we got some applause from a nearby golfer watching. Sometimes people see the camera and they stop and watch you. And we make the up and down to card another double bogey, which could have been worse. good today, yeah. Hole one's a par four dog leg to the right, and we split the fairway with a perfect drive over yeah, 240 yeah. yards. Happy with that one. Ah. So 150 yards into the green, ah. come with a six iron, and we catch a piece of the left edge and get the green in regulation. We have a 25 footer for a birdie. It was a big swinger, kind of misjudged by me that one. And we just missed the five footer for par and caught a three putt bogey on the first hole. 
Hold two, so part three. Going with the hybrid off the tee just to get it there. And we hit the green with a tee shot okay, at the yeah. right of the back of the green. So it's a 32 footer, all downhill this one. Very tough putt that one, and we have a four footer for par. It just slides by, can't win them all. And we card the bogey and move on. Hole three to par five. And we're in play with the tee shot down the right. And from a very soggy, wet lie, <laughs> it's a hybrid which kind of miss hit. So trying the five wood this time. And this is hit straight into the trees. It's 112, just going to hit a low one with the 9 iron to the left side of the green. I prefer a 7 or 6 iron, but the cart's over there, so yeah, just going to hit a low running with a 9 iron. The fourth shot here somehow hits a tree and goes in a fairway bunker. It was cart path only on this day because of the wet conditions. And we hit the green with a fifth shot. And the 28 footer for bogey sails by. Hammered that one. <laughs> yeah, King. How well? How well? Too much power, yeah. how well? And we hold the six footer coming back. Definitely took the scenic route on that hole. Better than a three putt, yeah. <laughs> Hole four, a so straightforward par four. Stroke index one, hardest hole on the course. And we're in play with the tee shot down the left. So have approach to the green around 170 yards. So somehow we flew this over the bunkers and made it onto the green for the green in regulation. Happy with that one. So it's another long birdie putt, a 25 footer that sails by. And we have around five foot coming back. And we call a nice par on the stroke in this one hole, which feels like a birdie. So the front nine score was 46, 10 over. Playing okay actually, but from the back tees, it's tough going. Four lost balls, keeping the ball in play where I can. Actually putting well for once. It's finally good to have the putter going okay. So let's see if we can score at the back nine at Royal Army Golf Club. Hole five, so short par four. It's really tight from the back tee. You can't really see it here, but you kind of got to slice it to keep it in play. And uh, it's a lost ball from the tee shot. So third shot. Had to drop it in the fairway. Ends up in the greenside bunker. Not good news. And there, my bunker, bad bunker play is coming back to haunt me. Second one goes okay. I didn't do that the first time. <laughs> we have a six footer for a double bogey. It just misses to the left. Would have been nice to make that one. And we missed the one in the gimme zone coming back. And cut a three putt quadruple bogey. Disaster on the 10th hole. And now we get some refreshments. More waters. And I actually lost so many balls, I had to buy some extra golf balls <laughs> to stock up. Hole six is the uh, straight, the easiest of the par threes, straightforward hole. Around 150 yards, we we'll make a really good connection with this iron. But I don't know if there's wind; it just stalled and didn't make it onto the green. Nevertheless, we we'll make a really good greenside chip on. And we tap in for the easy par, move on. Hole seven, so straightforward par four. And we hit a wild slice with a tee shot off to the right. And it goes out of bounds. And three off the tee, not good news. The next one is kind of scuffed. Just about makes it onto the fairway. And there's the, the buggy, 500 par for a buggy for 18 holes is a bargain. Very happy to have that. So we're miles back here for the second, well, fourth shot here, two, two, three away. 
just hitting it down there with the hybrid and have around 85 yards into the green and this time we're just come up short slightly so we chip one on using the chipping method it doesn't go as well but it's still 10 foot away that's what we have for a triple bogey downhill putt and we just trickled it down and it stopped a half a foot away and we card a quadruple bogey disaster on the seventh hole Hole 8, a uh, tough par 5, Strug Index 3, look at the kink in the fairway, uh, midway through the hole, yeah just a really tough one, and um, yeah total card rack at this hole, anyway we hit the fairway with the tee yeah, shot, it's a good start. The second shot here goes okay. And uh, we still have 198, so we hit two pretty good shots for 376 yards and still have 198. And I think it's just over swinging here, I hit it too hard, and uh, yeah, total miss hit. And for the fourth shot here, we managed to get a flyer from the rough. I didn't know there was a bunker at the back of the green. So another bad bunker shot there. <laughs> Just a total card wreck at this hole. And um, so a uh, sixth shot there. Pitch didn't even make it onto the green. And finally something goes right. We hit a good chip into the gaming zone. And because it's so hot, I just picked it up. Oh, uh, wrong, I think the got the putter. So, yeah, we're just in the middle of a blow-up. Massive blow-up here. Quad, par, quad, triple. And, um, yeah, playing these back tees, you have to walk all the way to further back. I'm just, it's not my comfort zone at all. Anyway, hole nine. We're in play on the fairway with a tee shot. Second shot, we made it onto the green and have a birdie putt from around 30 foot away. Uh, misses on the low side. And we tidy up and steady the ship with a green and regulation par on this par 4. And look, I got four empty water bottles. <laughs> Another drink stop. Um, <laughs> you definitely need these here in Thailand. <laughs> just downing some Gatorade. Drank one Gatorade on the front nine and one on the back nine. I still didn't think it was enough. <laughs> the hot weather just gets you in Thailand. So hole 10 is par 4. We hit the fairway with a tee shot, but it's still fairly far back here as it wasn't a really good hit. And we just missed the green in regulation by a hair's breadth. Would have been nice to for that ball to trickle on, but it's still it's a birdie putt, a long one, a 40 footer. And the ball sails by again, and we have six foot coming back for par. Just misses, perfect pace on that one, and we card a bogey. Day of the three putts. But the meltdown seems to be over. And moving on to hole 11, this is probably the best ah, hole on the course, an amazing par 3. Yeah, just so much water on this one. And playing from this tee box, all there's so much water in play. Going with 5 wood here, just giving it a lash. I think subconsciously I just oh, aimed right oh, away okay, from the, the water. <laughs> And um, yeah, made the carry anyway. And uh, yeah, the, look at the white tees. I should be playing from the white. Of course, it's so much easier from the white. But we're in play down the right here. So a pitch, a tough pitch over a bunker. Doesn't go so well. In the, in the bunker, splash one out. Now we're left with a ten footer to salvage a bogey. But misses short, didn't really threaten the hole that one. McCarthy double bogey, but still smiling because it's such a good hole. 
And hole 12 is so quirky, this par 5. It's a double fairway, split fairway, par 5. Yeah, I was just confused on the tee box what was going on. I think it's like 220 or 210 to the water. So I tried to hit a smooth one with the driver. <laughs> We've totally topped it, worst driver of the day. So digging down to into the rough here, the really juicy rough here. This hybrid shot doesn't go very far. Uh, it's 226, it's like a weird hole just laying up with the eight iron. Gotta miss this tree, I'm gonna go to the left. And we totally blade this eight iron, but somehow get away with it. Okay, yeah. Doesn't go in the water. Stops just short of the water before the green. Uh, this time wedge, a bit heavy handed with this one. We have a chance to save par, amazingly, with a 30 footer. This was a downhill putt, all about the pace. Not too bad. And we tidy up nicely and card a bogey, which could have been worse. Definitely after that poor tee shot. And there's my caddy, Dong, with the cowboy hat and shades on. Brilliant caddy. Yeah, he's just uh, probably one of the best caddies I've had so far. Uh, hole 13 is the final hole of the round. It's a scuff tee shot. Kind of fading here. This is um, the first time I've played 18 holes in 2023. Still on the fairway. <laughs> Normally been playing nine holes. Good layup. So have a chance to get on the green in three. Okay. That's par four. Yeah. And that's what happens. Yeah. Happy with that one. We have a 12 footer for a par. And the putt drops, really happy with that. It's a great end to the round. Three on par, very good. In the middle, perfect. So the final score was 97. 25 over so we did it we broke 100 from the back tees and uh, yeah it's just a great day on the course really enjoyed playing all 18 holes i lost six balls which i think is a record for me on camera but there's so much water on these courses in thailand you just have to go with the flow and accept it you are going to lose balls unless you're like a perfect straight hitter all the time uh, my handicap after this round it dropped uh, 0.7 points to 12.3 and it's going to go up further because uh, my game is just not there at the moment, but I'm just happy to be playing, getting through the rounds, and uh, it's nice to be out on the course again. And this course was amazing. The, the other nine holes that I never played the previous time were amazing. Hole 11 is just uh, world class. Uh, from the, I was glad I was on the back tees actually on that one, but I've got no business being on the back tees, especially on those long par fives. Uh, on the white tees, I think I've got a very good chance of breaking eight, uh, 90 nearly every time I tee up and possibly threatening 85 if my driving improves. And also the three putts. I had quite a lot of three putts on this day, but I, was, I also hold a lot of like six to 10 footers, which is, it kind of made up for it. So the pricing, everyone looks like, likes to look at the pricing is here. It's not the cheapest course in Bangkok, but it's, it's kind of like a, just like in the intermediate lower end. And, uh, but for me, the greens are just per I love putting on these greens. Even the three putts is fine. It was it was all my fault. You can see there's no bubbles or very few bubbles. Um, and uh, it's quite funny on this day. I didn't adjust the green speed. So for like for the first six holes, my putting was good. And at the next twelve, I was just racing them by. And uh, oh yeah, the caddy Dong. Uh, he was just a legend. The cowboy caddy. He was loving it. He's um, showed him the YouTube channel. And I think he thought I was a celebrity or something. Like, uh, and he couldn't believe I was going on some of the par fours in two in regulation. And one fun thing about the golf course in Thailand is there's so many second hand balls available because of all the water hazards. Some of them look a bit battered, but I think I've got to buy them. On this day, I had a choice. I could have started on hole one, but I would have been behind a six ball that were walking. So I was just like, oh no, let's just start, do the rolling start. And then you have priority when you come round to hole one, which worked fine. The course is superb. It's my favorite course I've played in Bangkok. And it's actually a municipal course. It has a 36 holes layout. And um, 
yeah so i just turned up and play it does get quite busy in the mornings if you are thinking of playing this course then i would avoid wednesdays and also the weekend as that's when the soldiers play they have rolling uh, shotgun starts at 6 a.m and noon so it would be best to avoid those days unless you like playing a really really slow round so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed playing and making it and see you on the next one signing off